Hey guys, Nathan here, Mom's Crook here today, bringing some Black Ops 3 beta gameplay. We're going to play some uh, Team Deathmatch on the map Hunted. Now today we're going to be talking about, um, specifically, uh, last-gen console support for Black Ops 3. What I mean by last-gen is the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I'm going to specify that right now before I have to, you know, say the PS3, Xbox 360, you know, tons of times. I'm just going to refer to them as last-gen because, honestly... They're 10 years old, uh, you know, you know, about 10 years old, and, uh, you know, they're last gen. So anyways, before I even start talking about this issue, I'm not taking a jab at the PS3 or Xbox 360. I like both of those consoles, honestly. I've been, uh, you know, a PS3, PS4 gamer um, for the most part, late, uh, you know, for the past few years, and um, what got me into the PlayStation 3 was me going to a friend's house, playing his Xbox 360, and then coming back, trying to play Modern Warfare 3 on the Wii, and it was just too choppy for me, and I couldn't adjust back to it, so I saved it for a PS3, and that's how I got my PS3. It's kind of ironic how, you know, I got a PS3 by playing, you know, pretty much playing the Xbox 360. Really weird. So anyways, um, for all you guys that have not been, you know, following up on Black Ops 3 news, which I'm sure a lot of my subscribers have, um, a month ago, Bmox uh, Studios, which is the company that is porting this game to last generation consoles, kind of like what Treyarch did with the Wii. Um, they, you know, ported all the Call of Duty's for the Wii, which is, you know, I am thankful Treyarch did that because if it weren't for Treyarch, I wouldn't have been playing Call of Duty all these years. Uh, but um, Bmox Studios is, you know, who's porting this over to, um, you know, last gen consoles. A month ago, they scrapped the campaign for this game on previous generation console copies so it means you will not be able to play the campaign on you know last gen consoles it just won't be there so they compensated all last gen um, you know owners by making black ops 3 ten dollars cheaper and giving any you know each copy will come with a digital copy of black ops 1 so you know you get two games in one for the price of a, the campaign and scaled down graphics and everything uh, and now just recently a couple days ago, Bmox Studios tweeted and, uh, you know, basically said, I'm just going to make this simple, uh, basically said, you know, we've tried, uh, you know, our our goal was reaching 60 frames per second for the ultimate Call of Duty experience, but we could not, you know, hit that goal, so um, our, we're at least getting 30 frames per second, um, you know, when we play the game, so the gameplay will at least be 30 frames per second, but will fluctuate between 30 and 60 frames per second. For what, uh, you know, what this means to the average person is um, the fluidity of uh, last-gen Black Ops 3, will, it just won't be there. It won't be fluid or as fluid as the next-gen consoles. Now, this is a given. Like, you know, of course the next-gen consoles that are like two years old are going to run the game better than, you know, consoles that are 10 years old but the Call of Duty community does not seem to grasp that uh, idea and I just want to you know make it clear so in the comments or you know the description below this video I'm gonna link a thread that I created on the Black Ops 3 subreddit now this thread actually is the link to a YouTube video that shows PlayStation 3 gameplay of Black Ops 3 and I'm not going to upload it on my channel because one, it's not my video, and two, Activision would probably get really mad. <laughs> so I'm just going to stay on their good side because I've almost lost my channel once. Uh, and if you guys um, kind of want to know what it's like to play this game on PS3 or watch a video, it's pretty much the Wii experience, um, Call of Duty Wii experience. You're going to have the game running at 30 frames per second, it's not going to be fluid at all and um, you're not going to get DLC. No DLC has been confirmed for last gen consoles and also there's no season pass for it so this is just it's safe to assume last gen is not getting DLC as of now which is like a day before the game even you know midnight release. I consider tomorrow release day because I'm going to midnight release but uh, you know I feel kind of bad for people that do you know are on last gen still but Actually, in a good way, take this in, in, you know, optimistically speaking, instead of buying Black Ops 3 and last-gen, save those that $50 up for a next-gen console. 
Um, they've been out for two years now. If you saved like four bucks a week, you'd easily be able to afford one. And now since it's the holiday season, you have Black Friday coming up in three to four weeks. You have Christmas coming up, and there's always all these sweet deals, um, usually around the holiday season. So, you know, you're going to, you know, it's this year is an especially easy year to get a next-gen console. Uh, I know uh, certain stores are selling the PS4 for 300 bucks, and you get your, you know, you can select a game to get with the console, which is pretty cool. And usually every PS4 um, comes with a month's worth of PlayStation Plus, so you can try out multiplayer and see how you like it. So yeah, guys. Anyways, just to kind of summarize what I've been saying in this video, next gen PS, th I mean next gen Black Ops 3 is totally worth it. But last gen, um, I would just save the money for an next gen console. In all honesty. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos in your sub box, um, I don't even know if they call it sub box anymore. Uh, feel free to subscribe to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys when Black Ops 3 comes out. Bye.